using Word to create a publisher like certificate. One reason teachers might think about using publisher is to create certificates. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a certificate just like the one you see here in Publisher using Word. First of all, you'll want to change the orientation of the page. So I need to go to Layout, go to Orientation and change the paper to Landscape. I also want the borders to be quite narrow. So still in Layout, I go to Margins and click Narrow. This will give me the maximum amount of space. Now you can see here I've got some text boxes, an image and then a place for a signature. I can do all this by simply inserting text boxes in Word. I go up to Insert, I click on Text and I click on Text Box. And I'm just going to choose the simple text box. You'll notice that at the moment it has a border. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that once we've put all our information into our certificate. And I'm just going to move the box across. So in this text box I'm going to type in the name of the certificate. Then I've got another box down here. So let's go back to Insert, Text, Text Box, Simple Text Box. And I'll move that one down. You'll notice a grid line appears so that you can line your text boxes up. And put in this certificate is awarded to. Then I need a text box for name of recipient. So again, I need to go to Insert, Text, Text Box, Simple Text Box. Again, that grid line has lined the boxes up for me. Name of recipient. Get rid of these extra lines. And move that one down. And then another text box. In this case, I'm actually going to put both of those into one text box. So insert text, text box, simple text box. Again, line it up, put in my text, and get rid of that extra space. They've now got a image down the bottom, so I'm going to put in my school logo and just move it to the spot where I'd like it. And then they've got a star. Now you can search for images, put your own image in. In this case, I'm just going to put in that star image as well. Now the next section we actually want to put in a text box with a table so that someone could type in their signature and the date if they don't want to sign. So I'm going to insert a text box again. So insert text, text box, simple text box and move it to where I want. I need to actually delete that field text first and then I'm going to put in a table. You'll notice that I've got a line, then a gap, and then another line. This tells me that my table needs to have three columns. I've then got one space, my signature, another space, and my signature. So this tells me that my table needs to have one, two, three, four, rows. So this time I'm going to go to insert table and I'm going to insert a table that is three columns and four rows. I'm just going to make the rows where I want to insert text, i.e. the date or my name, a bit bigger. 
I'm going to make that column there bigger for my signature as well. And I'm going to put in signature and date and repeat that underneath. Okay, now I might want that text in this these rows to be a bit bigger as well. So I highlight that row and go home. And in my font, I'm going to choose 22. And in this row as well, I'm going to highlight that row, go to font in my home tab and choose 22. Also going to go to my table layout. And in this case, for this box, I'm going to choose text down the bottom to the left. I'm going to make that box a little bit bigger. And now you'll see my text will go on the line and there will be a gap between my signature and date box. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to get rid of those lines. So I'm going to highlight my whole table. And this time I'm going to go to table design and in borders, I'm going to click no borders. Now I still want some lines so that someone could sign and write the date if this is printed. So this time I go to border painter, making sure I've got one line here. And then I can click where I want a line to appear. and then just click off to get out of Border Painter. Now I've got a nice signature bar and you can see I can write above there as well if I'd like to. Okay, now my certificate's looking pretty good. I might just move this box across a little so it's in line with the style. If I want to line things up, I can press Shift and click on all those boxes and then go into Shape Format arrange and select a line and I could align all those. I don't want to do that though because my image has just moved so I might align to the right instead. I could do that for these two as well. So shape format, arrange, align and align to the right. The other thing is, I now want to get rid of those borders because it doesn't look very professional. So I'm going to click on that box. I'm going to go back to Shape Format. And this time, I'm going to go to the Shape Outline. And I'm going to select No Outline. Once you've done this once, you'll see that the outline color is now blank. So you don't need to select it each time. You can just select the box and click on that icon. Okay, okay. now there's one more thing that I want to do. Actually, let's realign this. So I'm going to go to Home, Paragraph and Align Right. That looks a bit better. And I also want these to stay where they are on the page. So I'm going to click on this one and go fix position on page, 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 and my last box, make sure I select the box and not the table, fix position on page. And there I have my certificate. I can always go in and change the fonts, change the image, if I want to do that quickly, if I'm happy with the layout, I can just click, right click and go to change picture and choose something else. Choose that category and then put in a keyword. And there I've just changed my picture. And that's a simple way to create a certificate using Word instead of Publisher.